Welcome everybody. This is the follow-up video to fixing your Mi Flash Unlock tool, not being able to detect your Xiaomi phone. So what we're gonna do in this video, guys, we're gonna be unlocking my Xiaomi Mi 11 phone. You are gonna be able to explore the whole process on my phone here in the lower left part of my screen. But of course, before that, we need to start some preparation. We have been waiting patiently for 168 hours to be able to unlock my Xiaomi 11 using the Mi Unlock tool. And again, guys, if you are experiencing any issues whatsoever with the phone not being able to connect to your PC, not detected, just refer to this video. You can find the link here on the top right corner. Now, going back, Xiaomi EU. This is the modified version of the Xiaomi UI ROM that we're going to be installing. The Xiaomi EU is based on the China MIUI release, of course. It's localized, it's translated, it has a lot of languages. Of course, I'm looking out for English. And it brings together a lot of improvements and also, of course, weekly releases if you are on the beta. But before I unlock my Xiaomi 11 and flash the Xiaomi EU modified MIUI on it, we need to download some files. All the links are going to be down below into the video description. I'm right now on the Xiaomi EU community forum. I'm linking here on Mi 11 and there is a guide created by Ingsbury. So click inside, right? Before the custom recovery was released, the Xiaomi EU was only flushed using the fastboot method, but I'm not going to touch base on that right now. There is right now a custom recovery. This is actually what TWRP is. So TWRP is a custom recovery. And since a few days ago, it has been already released for the Mi 11, the Mi 11 Pro and the Mi 11 Ultra. So just know that I'm gonna be doing this process for the Mi 11. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm clicking here on the TWRP link for the Mi 11, which is codenamed Venus. I am downloading the custom recovery for my Xiaomi Mi 11, codenamed Venus. Okay, I'm gonna be saving it here, okay. All right, see, custom recovery is 126 megabyte. Now, what we're gonna be doing, guys, I'm gonna go back to home and I'm gonna click here on the MIUI ROM releases. And of course, we're looking for MIUI 12. If you click on the first post, you're going to be able to access the MIUI 12 stable release. But because we like to live on the edge, I'm gonna be clicking here and this will give us access to the latest beta RAM. And this is actually the latest weekly release. So we have one here, 21.526 and 21.527. So I'm gonna be downloading the latest one. I'm gonna be clicking here and now a new link will appear and I will have to find here the version for my phone, okay? Now see, if the Mi 11 is not there, which could be the case, then I'm gonna be using the previous version. So this from here is not available for the Mi 11. I'm gonna go and check the version here, okay? A new link opens, right? And now I will search again for Mi 11. And here, pay attention, we have Mi 11, this is Mi 11i, but I'm just using the Lego run. So we have Mi 11 Pro, we have Mi 11 Ultra, okay? One ROM is for Pro and Ultra. And here we have the plain Mi 11, okay? So just pay attention, this is very, very important, guys. There is something called the Mi 11i, that's not your ROM, okay? Then we have the Pro and Ultra, and the one for my version is this one here, is the pure Mi 11. Yeah, okay, it's almost four gigabytes. So I'm gonna click here, okay, start download, all right? Searching for mirrors. Use the primary mirror. Okay, I'm gonna save the file. In the meantime, I'm checking, recovery is still being downloaded. Now this is gonna take one hour, all right? So let me make sure that I have all these two files. Then what will happen is I'm gonna use the Mi Unlock tool to unlock my phone. Then I'm gonna use the minimal ADB tools to put my phone into the fastboot mode and use the fastboot command to install the custom recovery. And this goes very, very easy, guys. I'm gonna just show you guys, this is just this command here, fastboot, boot, and that's the image of the custom recovery. So all of these steps after I've downloaded all the files. And because that's YouTube and the internet, I'll make this happen in no time. So three, two, one, let's go. Now here in the bottom left part of the video, you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing with the phone. So I have the phone connected with the USB-C cable to my PC and we need to install the minimal ADB in fastboot. So first thing you can do guys, you can just go to Google, all right, and inside just search for minimal ADB and fastboot, okay? Click the second link. Again, all the links are gonna be down below into the video description. Download and install fastboot. 
Once you install it, just navigate to where you have installed it. In my case, this is here. And you need to make sure that you have ADB exe, but that you have also fastboot exe, because we're gonna be using those two commands to connect to the phone. And now guys, I'm gonna show you how the phone is gonna get unlocked using the Mi Unlock tool. But for that, we need first to power off the phone and then put it into fastboot mode. Now, how does this happen? We need to power off the phone, okay? Once the phone is powered off, you need then to hold the power on volume and keep holding the volume down. So power on and volume down will get you into the fast boot mode like I just did right now, okay? Once this has happened, guys, you'll see here on the screen your phone connecting to your computer, okay? Now bear in mind, the moment I press here unlock, all my information is going to get wiped, okay? Now see here, we have unlocking, Okay, oops, what has happened right now? My phone is rebooting, okay? So this is exactly what you're gonna see also on your screen. And now see everything from my phone is being wiped. So this is very, very important. Once you have decided to unlock your Xiaomi phone, make sure that you have performed a backup download all your documents, all your music if you have, all your pictures, videos, everything, okay? Once this has happened, the bootload of the phone is unlocked, but while the process is happening, all your information is gonna be erased, okay? Now, how can we check if the phone is unlocked, right? We're gonna be connecting it again to the Mi Unlock 2 to make sure that our phone is unlocked, okay? Right now, the regular process of setting up Xiaomi MIUI will happen, but of course we don't need that one. So I'll just wait for the phone to boot. Then I'm gonna place it again into fast boot mode and I'm gonna use here the Mi Unlock tool to check what the status of my phone is. All right, I am now putting my phone back into the fast boot mode. The only reason for this is to see here this status. Right now we can see that the phone here is in fast boot mode and it is in status unlock. Now go back to the common prompt that you have opened and if you type fast boot devices you also are going to see the phone connected to your computer it's the same serial number now we need the second command to install the custom recovery let me just remind you how this works i'm going to go back here and show you this is really the guide from the xiaomi u you just need to put the twrp.img or image file inside where your fast boot is and then type fast boot space boot then the twrp img now i have created here a folder on my c drive where i have the custom recovery and i have also here the weekly xiaomi e rom what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy the custom recovery i'm gonna place it exactly to where my fast boot command is because this is really easier for me now we can see that I have copied the Mi 11 TWRP IMG in my minimal ADB and fastboot folder and if I type dear inside the CMD prompt, I will be able to see that one. Now, okay, fastboot, okay, then space boot, again space, and then just like that, hit enter, okay. Now the custom recovery is being downloaded to your phone and in fact, your phone will have to reboot now using the TWRP, which is exactly the custom recovery. Now this is very important, guys. Now guys, if you know Chinese, you can skip this step, you can just proceed. But if you don't know Chinese, make sure to hit this button here, very important. I'm gonna show it once more, hit this button here. Now go here to the globe and here you can choose the language to English, okay? Now press this button down, which is the confirmation, and now boom, everything is in plain English. Now what we need to do, guys, first time installing a custom ROM, so every time we're going to, uh, from a stable to a weekly ROM or even from the official ROM to the eROM, like in my case, we need to format the data. Okay, so how does this work? Let's go to wipe. Okay, let's go to format data and type here yes. Okay, now everything is gonna get formatted. Okay, now once this is done, we need to make sure copy the ROM here to our phone. Now, how does this work? We have to go to mount, make sure that the MTP is enabled. And if that's the case, you should be seeing here your storage directly, okay? Before that, go to your PC, select the weekly Xiaomi EU ROM, just press copy, go back to the storage of the phone, and press paste. Now after the ROM has been copied, 
we just need to install it on the phone using the custom TWRP recovery. Then we need to clear the Dalvik Arkham cache and cache. And that should be it, guys. After this, you should be able to enjoy your custom Xiaomi U MIUI ROM on your unlocked Xiaomi Mi 11 or another Xiaomi great device. And now we need to install the ROM, click the install button, navigate here to data, inside click media, and then here you can find the Xiaomi U ROM. Select the ROM, okay? Don't click here, reboot after installation is complete, and just swipe to confirm the flash. Now we need to patiently wait until the script has been completed and the ROM has been installed to our phone. Then what we need to do, we just need to clear the Delvic in Art cache, reboot the phone and then hopefully enjoy our custom Xiaomi ROM. I'm gonna wait now for this process to complete. Alright, we can see that the script has succeeded. Updating partition details, now press here wipe Dalvik, okay? Make sure to do so and now reboot system. Please note that the first reboot might take a bit more time, like 5 minutes, 6 minutes, and please note here also as well, there is a sign that the phone is unlocked. If you see this here, then it means that the phone has an unlocked bootloader. Alright, let's wait together for the first boot to make sure that everything will work flawlessly. And voila! Your brand new MIUI custom Xiaomi EU version is now already shining on your phone. Now please note that the first boot after you have installed the custom Xiaomi EU-ROM can take a bit more time, so allow the phone some time in space and after that just follow your regular setup process. You have to restore your applications from the Mi Cloud or from the Google Cloud, make sure to set up the phone according to your needs and then enjoy your custom Xiaomi EU-ROM, in this case running on my Xiaomi Mi 11. I'm just gonna wait until the phone boots to just make sure that everything is intact. And here we are, MIUI 12.5 euros alone. We are booting here into our custom ROM. Okay, you need to choose a country and then again perform the regular setup. Now guys, I wanna show you what I'm using here. So I'm gonna go to the settings and we need to check here. We are indeed using the Xiaomi MIUI version 12.6 by Xiaomi U. It is indeed the latest beta. 21526 beta. Let's check also the security status. All right, we can see the security update is indeed from May. If you have liked this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please stay safe. We're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. With that said, VST over and bye.